What's up guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the new update of episode 71, part 1, in Polar Tower Defense, and what the new stuff is, and new animations, and new units. The first thing of the episode 71, part 1 update, we are going to go check the new place in the training plaza, I and mean, it's the marketplace. The marketplace is a place in the training plaza in Toy Tower Defense. Uh, you can buy units and sell units. I recommend using your own values or a value list of looking about these gems so you can assure that it's the value is good. Most people overprice their units because they just want profit. So I'll show you some tricks and how to know what units are good to buy. Alright, so in the sell units aisle, you have 10 free rows you can sell your units at and you can have units where you can sell here so pretend I take out this laser gun cameraman and I want to sell like maybe a la no, wait, not a laser car maybe like secret agent I would have to put the lower than 35 gems so people can buy it better Putting in a higher price will make it more or less viable and more people wouldn't buy it because they won't see it. So I would put out 33 gems, put on sale, and then confirm. And then people will see my thing here and they will check if they want to buy my secret agent right here. Uh, for the new unit, Red Laser Cameraman, she does 18,000 damage overall and 3,600 damage every zero. 0.2 cooldown by 40 range and that's kind of cool because when I got him from the banner he was actually pretty cool and was carrying me in nightmare so I recommend using him for nightmare for endless I wouldn't because you probably need a better DPS like your TC but he has a laser like green laser as you can see and red laser cameraman has just a jetpack and just headset like an upgraded cameraman and I recommend using him for nightmare very cool. For healer TV woman animations, I don't know if she has lightning or something, but I see like particles coming when she uses her stick up, so I think that's the particles for her new animation. She still does the same damage and all that stuff. She's still pretty cool, but it would be cool if she had like a thunder maybe, and her screen still has a heart. Oh, and she can block stuns. For Cupid Camera Woman, her new animations is I think she has arrows coming out now. And now she's, she has the same stats and she has the same range. That's kind of cool now, now that they added arrows out for the piercing uh, tag. Uh, Cupid cool. Camera Woman is so good for Nightmare and it can solo. And for Endless, I wouldn't recommend because you probably need better DPS. But Machine Green Laser would be optional for starting unit. So. At the level 1 drill man, upgrade touch and drill man has the same stats, but it looks like the modeler did a very good job. His mouth has animation, like he's chomping them. He has a better M1, and he like kind of kicks them ish, but he's bending down a bit more, like floating, I guess. Level 2, he has a horn, same thing. Level 3, he starts to actually go faster and bite them. He has more drills on his shoulders and has a cool animation though, like very cool. And then I think the grab, he has the shoulder stuff and he does, he has animation for grabbing him. He like pulls back and still have the same thing. But I think he's a bit cooler now after the modeler did a very amazing job. And I actually like this a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below what next video I should make next. Make sure to put the post notifications too, so I can make a new video faster and every day. Also, make sure to use the marketplace carefully to know what units are overpriced or not overpriced. And use the method that I showed. Put the young unit lower than the price it saves. Bye!